my thoughts on the table Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fate I don't think they need us no more In my head like a blitzkrieg On my heart like a wall Coming back for your heart now Hannah, we have so many fun memories together. You have always been so dependable, hardworking, and caring. Thank you for loving me in your own way and accepting all my craziness. Thank you for being the best aunt to Coco and for always pointing me back to Jesus. From a song that I've known all along Can you take the, take the island She's pulling apart the waves as I fall into your arms Tearing up roses as daylight approaches Just hoping to be what you want At first, I wasn't really Team David, but over the last couple months, I have realized you are exactly who she needed. You are a patient, kind-hearted, and humble man of God. I can see that you make Hannah truly happy as she's always smiling around you. Hannah and David, I am so excited for you guys to begin this new chapter of your life. I wish you guys the very best as you learn to grow together as one and can't wait to see what God has in store for you too. That is, David and Hannah, when you serve one another in humility, when you think of the needs of your spouse first, those around you, your family, your friends, your church family, they'll praise God. They'll praise Christ. David, uh, we were sitting in a park when I told you words have power. <laughs> I remember at that moment you uttered, marry me, Hannah, marry me. <laughs> Over our relationship, you've seen my good, and you've definitely seen my ugly, and you've extended grace to me. In the midst of my brokenness, gently praying with me, or giving me phone calls early morning before work to read scripture and remind me of God's unwavering truths. Thank you for loving me in a way that exemplifies Christ and for pointing me to seek what really matters. You challenge me to strive forward in so many ways. Today, through God's grace, before our church family, family, and friends, I commit to loving the man you will become. I vow to love and support you as you glorify, honor, and worship God, that our lives be counted worthy of the gospel. You often tell me my humor is one of the many reasons why you love me. But I promise you this, the jokes will get old fast. Today, as I become your husband, I vow to look after your needs before my own, to swallow my pride when I'm wrong, and when trials and difficulties are too much for us to handle on our own, I promise to seek counsel and advice from our community and to prayerfully lead our family. I vow to be sweeter and sweeter to you as each day goes by, to grow in kindness, be eternally faithful, and to forever love you like Christ loves the church. To be completely honest, I don't know or comprehend what I'm signing myself up for, but I believe in the promise of sanctification that our good Father promises us, and I know that my vow is backed by a guarantor who will never fail us or forsake us. So today I make these vows to you before our families, 
friends and before God himself. And with all of their support, I will keep them all the days of our lives. So help me God. Well, it is my great privilege and honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. David Parr. Whatever comes our way, I stand secured knowing who you turn to and who we follow. I can't wait for the adventures we will go on with the Lord together as one until He returns or calls us home. I have loved you, I do love you, and I will always love you, David Shempard. <laughs>